One of the things that you guys have been doing over at AEW already is, is, is like the hype for wrestling fans that were missing, I think, a lot of, like you're talking about, the originality for, for wrestlers to really show who they are, be themselves. It's starting to pop there already. There are some things that I was curious from you for what you've seen already in these shows since we, the, the announcement has come out. Are there things that you know that you're very proud of? Are there things like, okay, like there was a lot of criticism with like the, the, the chair, the headshot that, that, that Rhodes took. Is that stuff that we're going to continue to see, or is that just was that more like get people talking? Like, what, what was the I thought? think it was just a mistake. It was a mistake. It's, it's wrestling, right? Things yeah. happen. It's, it's like a live stunt show, so some things go wrong, and then that's when if people use the the f word, meaning fake. I hate that word because there's nothing really fake about it. I mean, there's it's you're putting on a show, yeah. but it's not like you know if you're in a movie and I'm going to hit you with a chair, you you stop it. Stunt man comes in. You got a rubber chair. Take. Take two, take three, take five, take ten, uh, add the sound effect later. We don't do that. You get one swing of a chair, and if it hits you in the head and cuts you open, that's what happens. I yeah. mean, the other night I did a, a thing with, with the hangman, with Adam Page, and I, I beat him down. And I was wearing sneakers, black sneakers instead of boots, and the, the, the soles were thicker. So when I went to kick him, I kicked him right in the face, split him open, <laughs> blood everywhere, huge black eye. Not supposed to happen, but it happens. That's right. just the nature of the game. If it was planned and somebody had come to you and asked you about it, what would you have said? For what? It, the, with the headshot. If for they had me? planned that, if not for you to do it, but with the, if they had said, is this a good idea? Is this a good business opportunity? Will this get eyes and ears on us? Would you have said it was a good idea to if, do? If I, could, if I could predict the future and know that he was going to get cut open, um, anytime that we call them happy accidents— like with Hangman getting busted open, and the next day it's like, make sure you take a lot of pictures and put it up on social media because it's real. You know, this is like, once again, when you get the naysayers, like, oh, it's not, nothing happens in wrestling, it's just a show, and then somebody gets, you know, a huge, giant black eye, you want to take advantage of that, as, as crazy as that sounds. Like, right. one time I got my tooth uh, snapped in half by a ladder, and instead of going right to the dentist, I waited till the following day so I could be on TV on Monday night showing my snapped tooth because you want people to see that, right. to know that it's not all fun and games. So when that stuff happens, as long as somebody doesn't get seriously hurt, like I said, it's a happy accident. So if, if someone was going to do that to me and I was going to know, okay, you're going to need 12 stitches, but it's going to add you know, a million dollars in revenue to people who want to see your match, all right, I'll take it. Yeah. That's fine. I got scars all over from stuff that has happened like that. Yeah. You know? well, well, the other thing, because of that, and because so many people are now talking about AEW, and, and the television deal begins to, uh, begins in November, At October, November, October, it's November. in the fall. I know that for sure. And that's and it's gearing up, and all the buzz is there. And already, it seems like uh, that WWE is starting to have some answers. Whether it's the counter programming that they did with you guys over the weekend, whether it's the um, it, it looks like they, they're getting rid of the PG stuff, and they're going to go a little bit more adult for the going back to kind of like the Attitude Era ish. The, the, the uh, Paul Heyman and Bischoff, the rumors about, about all that stuff happening. Is that that's kind of competition to take you back to like the WCW versus Raw days where that get, it gets you more excited to let's really go for this thing? Well, I mean, it's, it's good to have uh, – I think competition is kind of a big word because you don't compete with, with uh, a worldwide – juggernaut like yeah. WWE, but I think it's good to have an alternative, give people an option, because there hasn't been that for 20-odd years, right? So when you have that, automatically it's better for the fans, creates a huge buzz for our company, and we're selling you know 12,000 tickets in five minutes in Chicago for August 31st, and we did it for Vegas, and this, that, and the other thing. Um, also, and here's the best part, it's good for the wrestlers, for the boys and girls themselves. And the moment I signed with WWE, I think it took them by surprise, even though I told them I was going to do it. I think they're like, okay, go ahead, do it. And then when I did it, it's like, what? You fucking did it? And I think right off the bat, the, 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 the rule over the next week or so is that everybody under contract gets double their salary if they re-sign their contracts today for five years right. so that nobody can get out earlier. Yeah. So if you're going on that aspect, everybody in the WWE made money just because I signed with AEW. So they all owe me a giant thank you. Have yeah. you gotten any thank yous from them? A couple, but I don't think people really realize. I think deep down they do. There's been a couple guys that have said, you know, thank you. But I think they all realize, and it's not just me, myself, but the fact that AEW exists at all. And it's funny because when my dad played in the NHL for 10 years, and in 1972, Bobby Hall from the Chicago Blackhawks signed with a new hockey league called the WHA for a million dollars. And when he signed, he was the top guy in the, in the league. And the moment he left... 
all the rest of the players in the NHL automatically got raises to not go. My dad right. went from thirty five grand a year to a hundred grand a year just to not jump to the WHA. So here we are, you know, forty five years later, and Jericho did the same thing that Bobby Hall did. It's just very strange and funny to think about that, yeah. and to think that now WWE realizes what's going on, and it's a war to them. Yeah, there's there, and to us. It's not a war. I know it's going to be a war. I don't think the company uh, AEW realizes it, but this is this is the way it is. You're you're encroaching on this turf that the McMahons have owned for the last twenty years, and they don't like it.